This is Matrix Lord 212, and I want to talk about Doctor Who and the God Complex. Um, more specifically, uh, what did the Doctor see in his room? Um, it's supposed to be, I guess, their worst fears. Um, the only thing that we heard was a, what sounded like um, the Doctor looking into the TARDIS, uh, and he heard the cloister bell go off. Now, if you were the doctor, what would be your biggest fear? Uh, my theory is is very, very simple. He wasn't thinking about the impossible astronaut. He wasn't thinking about dying. He was thinking more along the lines of, what if after all these years of traveling, after all these <clears throat> 900,000 years of life, that he just loses his mind and becomes purely, purely evil? What if he was witnessing uh, a fear that he was regenerating in rage, into the evil, into the dream lord, into the Valyard. Um, I think that is what the Doctor's biggest fear is, and it's probably in the back of his mind since the Pandorica opens, when the Alliance all formed together, all the evil, to take out the Doctor, because they said that at some point in time he will destroy the universe, probably as the Valyard. So um, I'm thinking that that's what the Doctor saw in the God Complex. He saw himself becoming evil, and that is what he fears the most. Alright, so it's a very quick video. Think about that for a minute. And yes, the TARDIS would scream and cry out for help with the cloister bell because she would cry out for help, but she would not do anything to stop the doctor uh, because he is the doctor, whether it be good or evil. And of course, this is why probably the Dream Lord was able to walk around um, as hologram and then not hologram because if you noticed in the end, he was able to operate the TARDIS, which goes to show that he's not a hologram. Um, you know, he was based in reality, he was able to move the TARDIS around, um, so the TARDIS is going to let him roam free because he's the Doctor, uh, whether he has form, he doesn't have form, and it's not going to do anything against him, um, because no matter what, at the end of the day, he's still the Doctor, so, um, you know, something to think about, and also the Dream Lord could be the voice in the TARDIS as well, because maybe in the future time, when he is the Dream Lord, um, the silence are a bigger threat than ever, and they must fall. So silence will fall, probably at the, the Dream Lord's hands or the Valyards, alright? So, thank you very much. Please subscribe and like my channel, and I'll talk to you later.